Shalom, given all praise to Yahweh, Shalom, 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 Anyway, I'm going to tell this movie, make one more slave movie and ask your ass. This is a video put up by Banky Pound Pure Delicious, <laughs> Pure Deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, brother. <laughs> and, but anyway, as I think I see one or two of his videos or whatever, so I saw the, the title. He that he did this. He did this because of <laughs> twelve years of slave. Binky Pound prison story. Now you got a lot of uh, YouTube pages with Jakes and even Edomites that been in the system for a number of years, and they just tell stories you know their experiences in the, in the um you know locked up so anyway i'm <laughs> i'm listening to the story crack it up because this is this is basically he's saying you're gonna see it uh he he all kind of scriptures on captivity kept coming to my mind slaughter so forth he didn't leave it in captivity you know the whole nine you know, them, all them priests have come to your, come to your head, you know. Uh, Baruch 4 and 25 says something to the effect that we're going to put our uh, foot on their necks. Uh, the Psalms uh, 2, around about the 8th verse or thereabouts, which says the same, almost the same thing in Revelation uh, 2, verse 25. 20, 20, 25 and 26, also Isaiah 14, uh, first two verses, um, Isaiah 60, Isaiah 61 and 5, uh, Obadiah 1, the whole chapter, especially the 18th verse, because when that time comes, when the Most High put us on top, that's when shit's going to start to rock, and all this built up pressure is going to come out on us so the most high going to have to give give us about a billion Edomites to 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 slay and then have another group of Edomites so when we call when we got you know our frustrations out then we put them in slavery but we ain't going to put them in slavery just yet they're going to get fucked up they ain't going to be working they're going to get fucked up in the kingdom of heaven they wanted the kingdom of heaven that's your motherfucking ass. But anyway, I'm not going to play this video. You know how YouTube get down. But if you watch this video, you're going to crack up. Especially you brothers that were in lockup. They used to call it the joint, the system, whatever they call it now. I call it lockup, lockdown. I've been in, this, in the system, but I've never been, I never did any hard, you know, real time. The longest I've been locked down in the tombs in Manhattan was uh, was for like almost five days. It was myself and um, other men, let's say, of the GMS way back in the day, you know? And we wound up suing the city over that. And, you know, when we sued the city, I was like, <laughs> When I got that money, I said, damn. I said, I don't mind getting locked up for about a week, four days to a week. If they're going to give me this type of money, I'll do this shit once a year. I'll do this shit once every six months. As long as I get that paycheck at the end of the ordeal, you know? It made, it made that experience all go away when you, when you got that settlement, you know? But, uh, and even the, the, the highest ranking officer at that time of the arrest they said don't put my name on anything because we're going to get sued on this one that's what he said i remember him saying that don't put don't put my name on anything because we're going to get sued on this one and he was damn right they got motherfucking sued now the the lawyer that we had was a jake you know we should have got a small hat but, but he's a good lawyer uh New York lawyer, Manhattan lawyer, 
and he we had to meet and he said uh okay you guys are looking to get some money uh do you guys want to make any uh news conference you know make i said man fuck, you know i said man fuck the news we just want the goddamn money we, we ain't thinking about no justice we, we just want the fucking money you know so you know eventually we got it and i remember even calling the dude when you call a dude he'll put you you'll take a message won't get back to you and the only way you get back he'll get back to you is if you curse him out you call him my uncle tom I said, <laughs> I said look you uncle tom motherfucker you better call my ass back nigga motherfucker and hang up <laughs> then come about an hour he'll call and shit but if you call being nice i just want to know what's going on could you call me back he ain't calling you back we cursed out him we cursed out his secretary <laughs> Until the day we got the, the checks and shit, you know, he was cool with the dude. <laughs> anyway, that was, yeah, that was years ago. But, uh, anyway, you gotta watch, you gotta watch this video. I'll leave the link in the description. He did, <laughs> he did this, this, this is, this is when he talks about this story. I believe he did this because of 12 years of slave. Now, anytime there's a slave movie, I remember in high school, was that in the ninth grade or whatever, I don't know, uh, when Roots came out, any white people that was in the high school, we wasn't saying shit to them. We were looking at them like, say something so we can fuck your ass up. And the, and the teachers, you know, we were, looking, <laughs> we were looking at all our different Edomite teachers like we wanted to fuck them up. So they were extra cool with us until that whole shit, you know, calmed down. Yeah, we were look we were looking for an excuse to fuck somebody up. And you know, Django, you know, the movie Django, we wanted to fuck people up. You know, all these different slave movies, you know? You wanna that's why they don't put too many slave movies out there, because Jake is riled up. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Shalom Wam. I didn't go to any, to any scriptures, but I quoted some scriptures that we all are familiar with but uh you see this and you probably make a response to this video anyway and i and i did subscribe to his brother and i got all his uh notifications and so forth you know because he he'll tell you to tell you the story but he'll he'll kind of you know he'll, he'll, he'll kind of make you laugh too he'll kind of laugh you know because there's there's funny shit that happens in serious situations you know you Something that was deadly serious X amount of years ago, you laugh at it now. You know? But uh, anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.